Stuart Wheeler, we hear about your whining and dining of people who might, Conservative MPs who might potentially check. Tell us a little bit about that. What have you been doing with people who might potentially... Well, it's all some time ago, but I, I wrote to about 10 Eurosceptic Conservative MPs, and in each case I said, would you like to have lunch with me? I think they were all lunches, actually. And um, if so, we'll go to an out-of-the-way restaurant where you won't be seen by other members of the party or the press, and the only other person who will know about it is Nigel Farage, nobody else at all. Now, I can now say that Douglas was one of them. I think that's all right for me to say that. But none of the others, nobody knows except Nigel. So there are nine others. I wrote to about nine or ten. Two said it would be inappropriate. All the rest said yes. So they all came for lunch. Yes. You think they were all well, like... separately, of course. Yes, 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 I understand. They all came for lunch. Um, and how would you describe those conversations? Perfectly friendly. We were interested in the same things. We discussed, obviously, the EU. Uh, they're all Eurosceptic. We discussed now, um, David Cameron's leadership. Um, a lot of them were dissatisfied with that. And uh, I may have asked, I probably did ask most of them, possibly all, whether they would like to meet Nigel Farage. And certainly, uh, well, obviously Douglas said yes. And I think some of the others did, but I can't remember. And roughly how many do you think said yes, they'd like to meet him? Do you know, I, 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 it's, it's ridiculous, but I can't remember. Certainly, I mean, it wasn't only Douglas, but I can't remember how many. Okay, and when was this happening? Well, it was a good two years ago. I was, I was just looking up with, um, with my PA when I last had lunch with Douglas, and I thought it was last year, but it wasn't. It was the year before. So it's all a little bit history now. I and mean, all the negotiations, or whatever they were, recently with Douglas, were conducted without me knowing anything about them. Remember, I've stepped down as treasurer, um, not because I am not a supporter, I'm just as much a supporter as I ever was. But at 79, I don't have the energy to do the job as well as it should be done. OK, but it was some time ago. But would you say this was sowing the seeds, pre preparing the ground a little bit for what we saw yesterday? I suppose so, in, in the way I saw it, yes. Mm. Um, it, it's always been great if we could get an MP to defect. Mm. But I, don't, I didn't sort of start off the conversation or anything about that. Mm. In fact, I, I don't think I ever necessarily used the word defect. I, um, my formula was, would you like to meet Nigel? And you mentioned that this happened a while ago, but do you know how many, apart from Douglas Carswell, did meet him? No, I know he wasn't the only one, and several of them may have. Mm. One or two said, no, I don't think I do want to, um, because they were interested in talking to me, but had no intention, whatever, of defecting. Mm. But um, I don't know how many, no. Do you think any of those will follow Douglas Carswell and defect? Um, I would hate my life to be on it, but if I had to go one way or the other, I think I would say slightly more likely than not. Um, it depends partly on the uh, by-election, which I understand may be on the 7th of October. If Douglas wins that, which personally I think he will, um, but it's not a certainty, obviously, um, that will tempt people who are hovering to say, oh, well, I don't necessarily lose my seat if I defect. So how many do you think might? Well, um, it may easily be none, but I think um, snowball effect. If, um, if one does, it makes it slightly more likely that the next one will. So it's just impossible to say. Two, three, five? Uh, could, could be. I mean, well, I'm repeating myself. It may be none, but if, if, one, if another one does and then another one, then it might turn from a trickle into a stream or something. I mean, when you were talking to them, did they give you the impression that they were fed up with David Cameron? Oh, yes, some of them, quite a lot, yes. Over what? Over his vacillation, over Europe, um, over not having really firm policies. I mean, I think David Cameron would almost agree with that. Uh, he would regard himself as a pragmatist. But that's another way of saying I don't believe in this vision thing, like Bush said. I mean, I've spoken to quite a few Conservative MPs in the last 24 hours, the right. sort of people who might be the sort of people who had lunch with you. Who may have done. Who may have done. Yes. And they're all saying, oh, I'm not defecting. This no, is a bad idea. Going to say that. If you were a member of, of Parliament for a polit political party, you have to, absolutely have to, remain loyal to that party until the moment when you defect. You can't say, oh, well, I'm thinking of defecting. I haven't mm. really made up my mind yet. You can't say that. 